Um, greetings to you and everyone uh, this afternoon, faculty and staff and administration and graduates. I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to be your guest speaker today. Most of you have no idea who I am. You will probably not remember me on this what is most exciting day of your life so far. Um, I hope that's the case. I hope what you take away from me today are the words and the advice that I never got when I was sitting in this seat that you are. Um, you know, for me, um, I would like to give my advice when I graduated from design school um, as a fellow interactive media and graphic designer um, who turned freelance into an award-winning company. I feel there's some things you could learn without trial and error. So I'm gonna give those to you today. So if anything, I hope after all of the, the effort that you've put into your education, I can give you just a little bit more before you turn that, that tassel over, okay? First and foremost, after today, you have to shower every day, brush your teeth, and get up every morning and go to work. No matter how much you don't want to, adulting is hard. It's not fun. That's the truth. Secondly, you don't have to leave home. Ohio, there are plenty of job opportunities for graphic designers, interactive media, advertising, um, fashion, so on and so forth. You can find uh, great places um, throughout the entire area of Cincinnati and Dayton to work. I found that there are positions are for designers, but you're only as good as your worst portfolio piece. Does everybody hear that? You're only as good as your worst portfolio piece. That means if you have four portfolio pieces in your portfolio and one of them is not your proudest work, delete it. Okay? Delete it. If you are uh, looking for an interview for a company that has a particular design style, make a concept before you go to the interview. Otherwise, you're walking in just like anybody else. And to be very strict and straightforward with you, when you apply for a job on the other end, there's usually about 200 to 400 um, applicants that come in. So what that means is you need to look at your proudest work and make sure that you only show your proudest work, okay? So it's not about quantity, it's about quality. So if you have one that you're like, eh, delete it completely. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, small businesses make up 80% of our economy. That's companies with 10 or less employees. So my advice, look for a business of a name you've never heard of. Go work for them. As working for a small business, what you're going to find is oftentimes it's going to be a rewarding and a rounding experience that you may not get from a larger company. You'll have the ability to change what they do. You'll help bring them up to speed on what's cool and current because, well, you're cool and current. Don't take pride in things that don't matter. Don't let pride get in the way. Appreciate any opportunity if it comes your way, even if that means designing a website for $200 called Sticky Licky Horse Treats, because that's how I started a multi-million dollar awarding company. Does everybody understand that? Horse treats, oatmeal horse treats for a 19-year-old girl that wanted to sell them, and her mom paid me $200 for a website. That's how I started this. So, take this, each one of you has worked independently and together to develop a creative expressions to overcome the challenges that your instructors have put forth in front of you throughout your time at the Art Institute of Ohio Cincinnati. So take a moment, let's congratulate each other for all the sacrifice and dedication you've put forth as a student. I would like to ask all the parents and staff to take a moment to think about this amazing class that you've gra that's graduating today, and let's give them a round of applause for just a moment. Now that we've given them a round of applause, I'd like you all to look back at me and everybody be very quiet. The next words that are about to come out of my mouth are gonna be the most important ones that you hear today. The person beside you to your left and right is interviewing for the same job. <laughs> that person next to you today is now your competition. The question you have to ask yourself is what makes you stand out from the person sitting next to you? What are you more uh, skilled at than anyone else sitting next to you? Find your niche and you'll find your way. Whether that's illustration, animation, or anything, whatever you have your skill set in, run towards that. 
Today, you've completed your studies at the Art Institute of Ohio Cincinnati. Even though college is something you complete, life is something you experience. Don't worry about your GPA or the results of that annoying critique you just had before you got done with this. Or even the lack of immediate success that you may or may not see here in 2017. Because that's short-term thinking. We live in an age of instant gratification. How many of you get mad when you text somebody and they don't text you right back? Just be honest with yourself. Raise your hand. For all of you that didn't raise your hand, you're lying. <laughs> So you have to ask yourself, what makes you happy and why? What I've learned in life is don't set expectations. Instead, try to set goals because expectations always lead to disappointment. You ever been excited as a kid? You were expecting to get something on Christmas Day and you didn't get it, right? It's because you set an expectation. That wasn't a goal. It was an expectation. Don't set expectations. Set goals because it'll lead to more surprises, adventures, less heartache and easier letdowns because you had no expectation. So it's all surprises. One of the best life lessons ever taught to me was from a mentor of mine called Dr. Tim Best. He said to me that the most valuable thing that we possess in our lives is time. Time. You can always make more money. You can sell things on eBay. You can do anything. You can start a lemonade stand. But you cannot make any more time. Your time is finite in life. You have a clicker that started the minute you were born. That means you choose your time to better your craft, you will become a success. The decisions you make about your time will lead to a failure or success for you throughout your entire life. The fact that you made it here in your cap and gown and are ready to graduate is a proven past test to your dedication, perseverance, and commitment to excellence. Graduates, in my opinion, each one of you is destined for greatness and have now the skills to make the world beautiful one design at a time. You have grown into intelligent, dedicated individual designers that make your own individual impact on society. While developing these newfound tools, you will certainly run into challenges, rewards, and heartbreak along the way. But the thing is, I can tell you, your journey of your career is not a race. It does not matter what someone else has in life. It's about improving your overall ability to protect, protect your craft and find happiness in what makes you happy in life. Take the time to see beauty in everything around you, no matter if it's a letterhead made in papyrus. <laughs> Remember, for all of you who don't know, papyrus is a terrible font. Terrible. Okay, it should be illegal. <laughs> Do what you love, because it's not work, it's a passion. Follow your passion, it'll lead you to success. I know this firsthand, but what it equates to. And I can see that each one of you is passionate, or otherwise you wouldn't be sitting here today. Success in life is defined in a multitude of different ways for all of you. But the cool thing about life is you get to set what, means, what success means to you. No one else does that. So you, yourself, define success. It's an internal thing. It's not an external thing. It's not about flashing money and flashing cars. Anybody can go get a loan and show you that. That doesn't mean they're successful. Success is what you visualize it and being realistic with your goals and spending the time that you have to practice that craft and make those goals come alive. If that means sacrificing time with friends, sacrificing time at the bar, sacrificing time doing other hobbies, that's what you have to do. If you ask my wife, I rarely have any hobbies. It's because I have a passion, and my passion is building an organization that makes training not so boring for corporations. And I've ran with that passion, and it's what I live for. When you find that, you will be a happy person. But if you compare that to someone else, you're gonna be miserable your whole life. So congratulations to the class of 2017. I'm honored and I commend you for your achievements. I wish nothing but prosperity for you and your future. Until then, take one day at a time, stay creative. And I hope you continue to do everything in your power to stop people from using papyrus, please. <laughs> congratulations, everyone. Thank you.